Much like everything else over the past 10 months, the governor's state of the state was held virtually this year. And while it's different, it's an opportunity to speak directly to you, the people of Michigan, about the past year and our priorities in 2021. And the USDA is suspending debt collection on distressed borrowers' loans. I'm Janelle Bros, and this is Farm News 5. Farm News 5 is brought to you by Ford. Governor Gretchen Whitmer gave her third State of the State address virtually this year. The address lacked the usual pomp and circumstance amid a backdrop of the Michigan House chamber. Just last year, the governor announced an ambitious plan to fix Michigan's crumbling infrastructure. This time around, she talked COVID-19 vaccines, restarting the state's economy, and working with the Republican-controlled House and Senate. Based on the political environment this past year, you might think Republicans and Democrats in Lansing can't find much common ground on anything. But the reality is, despite all these crises and the gridlock in Washington, we took real bipartisan action to get things done for you and your family. It's good to hear that's on a focus the governor has, and we know that the legislature has at times you know, been frustrated that they haven't had more say and more input into the conversations. You know, we're certainly hopeful that they can strike a balance and they can begin to, to work and move forward. We think that that, that, that certainly is, is the sign of good government and good, good, good government leaders working together to find those solutions. It was good to hear that she did emphasize uh, the, the conversation on how we fund local roads. You know, our members have, have developed, you know, thoughts and ideas on how we do that, and, and we're ready to engage that. You know, for farms, that's, that's really where a lot of the activity needs to happen. I think that what we heard uh, from her in terms of just um, focus on moving forward with vaccinations, I know the administration has made it a big priority to, you know, get, uh, get people not just uh, ready to engage in that, but comfortable to step up and and, uh, you know, take vaccinations so that we can sort of get to the end of, of this COVID uh, issue that we're dealing with. So I don't think there were any surprises there. I think that we would certainly, uh, you know, Farm Bureau is certainly ready and eager to step up and help. Coming up, the USDA's Agricultural Policy Advisory Committees have a Michigan connection. There's torque. Then there's 1,050 pound feet of available best in class torque. There's towing, then there's up to 37,000 pounds of available best-in-class towing. There's backing up a trailer, then there's backing up with available class-exclusive Pro Trailer Backup Assist. In other words, there are trucks, and then there's the new Ford Super Duty, the most capable heavy-duty pickup truck ever built. A pair of Agricultural Policy Advisory Committees now have a Michigan and Farm Bureau connection. Shepherd Michigan hemp farmer and processor Michael Klump and American Farm Bureau Federation chief economist John Newton are among the 67 appointments to the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Office of U.S. Trade Representative Committees. Appointees provide advice and guidance on trade policy matters relating to existing and new agreements. Newton and Klump will serve until 2025. The USDA is temporarily suspending debt collections from farmers impacted by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The initiative suspends past due debt collections and foreclosures for distressed borrowers and extends some loan deadlines. The department says close to 12,000 distressed borrowers utilizing the farm storage facility loan and the direct farm loan programs administered by the Farm Service Agency will see some relief. For more news and videos, visit michiganfarmnews.com or the Michigan Farm Bureau channel on YouTube. With Farm News 5, I'm Janelle Bros. Have a great week of farming.